this lesson covers the sari blouse of Katcholi. Katcholi has a cut on the umpire line and then it been finished with the waist belt. Rest of the neckline and the bust fit will be same as the sari blouse. The waistband will give a enough support to the blouse, it will give an accurate fit for the bust. The measurements are same as the sari blouse, but only extra measurement we need to take is the under bust round and the under bust length. See this is the bust point, we should mark the bust radius from here, the bust radius is the deepest point of the under the bust, bust point to under bust is the radius, mark the radius and fix a tape around the body parallel to the floor on that level. Then we have to measure the bust, under bust height can be from high point shoulder to the under bust line is the under bust length and if, if you want you can take the under bust circumference also to get an exact fit at the under bust line. So that is 31 and a quarter. So the, this measurement is necessary to decide the umpire line as well as the circumference of the uh, rib cage. Now we are going to develop the Kacholi's front. The back and the sleeve is as same as the sari blouse. The front we are going to develop now. The measurements has to follow as per the given measurement. First draw the center front line as a perpendicular line for shoulder and for center front. mark 0. zero 01 is the length. fourteen and a half inch. Then zero 02 is equal to chest so bus by four minus 1 inch, bus by 4 is 8.65 minus 1 is 7.65 and draw perpendicular line. Two. This line is the center front line. Now 0, 03 off shoulder 14.5 by 2 is 7 and a quarter. Three should square down to four. Two to five is bus by four plus three by four. So nine point four five is the measurement. Mark five. Five should be square down to six. Zero seven. Square down 5 to 6. 0, 7 is 
under bust length. Under bust length is 12.5 inches. Mark 12.5 inch 7 and 7 should be square down to 8. Square to 8. Zero 09 is for the neck that is bust by 12 minus quarter inch. We will have very close neck to 5 by 8. One to ten is equal to shoulder slope plus one eighth of an inch. Shoulder slope is fourteen and a half plus one eighth fourteen five by eight. Draw the shoulder from nine to ten. Eleven is zero eleven is equal to bus by twelve plus quarter inch three inches mark eleven and draw the neck curve from nine to eleven by keeping the French curve the tail up and the head down. The 12 is mid of 10 to 4. Mark 12. and square out. This measurement should be equal to a cross front measurement or else we can mark 5 eighth of an inch from 12 to take the deep front arm hole and draw front arm hole curve. So, 12 to 13 is 5 by 8 and connect 10, 13 and 5 as the front armhole curve, 10, 13 and 5. This is the front armhole curve. Now we need to find the bust point. The bust point must be derived from the bus span and the bust height measurement. Bust span is seven and a half, bust height is nine inch. So first draw a vertical line parallel to the bust, parallel to the center front that is half bus span plus quarter inch. Half bus span is 3, 3 by 4 plus quarter inch 4 inches and draw a parallel line at here parallel to center front. And we should mark the bust height from shoulder tip to intersect the line. This measurement should be bust height plus one eighth of an inch. So, 9 1 by 8. So, this is the bust point. We took already 
the bust radius is two and a half an inch that will approximately match over there. Then mark 14 by half an inch down from bust. That line should be square down to 15. Now we are going to draw dots. So your, your dot, your white dot will come at the below bust reaching on the umpire line and one dot will start from the armhole and reach the bust point and one dot will start from the center front and it will face the bust point. All dots will face towards the bust point but the dots point will start little away from the bus point. So connect the bus point and the intersection point for our mole dot and extend this point horizontally to the center front and mark 1 inch, 1 inch on both sides and this is 16 and 17. And we should square the bus point to the center front as 19 and we must take a dot of half an inch and this should be half an inch away from the bus point and join Take a dot at from the center front to bus point half an inch away from it and the dot intake should be 18. Dot intake should be half an inch mark 18 and then further under bus dot join 16, 14 and 17. Mark one and a half an inch away from bus point for the armhole dot point and take half an inch dot this point is 20 and take half an inch dot at 20 and this point is 21. So, bus point to 21 is one and a half an inch and bus point to 18, bus point to 18 is half an inch and join the armhole dot, dot leg to be connected. Now, 7 to 22, 7 to 22 is 1 inch and 8 to 23 is 1 inch eight to 23 is 1 inch and draw the shape from 22 to 16 and 17 to 8 should extend a bit. Twenty-three to twenty-four should be three eighth of an inch. Join five and twenty-four. Twenty-three to twenty-four, three eighth of an inch, and join five and twenty-four. Now we are going to develop the waistband pattern. To develop the waistband pattern, we need the height of the waistband. 
the height of the waistband can be calculated from the back side seam. This is the back side seam measurement. It is 6 and half an inch minus front side seam. So, leaving of this measurement, this is going to be the side. So, it is 6, 3, 6 by 8. So, 6 and a half minus 3, 6 by 8 is equal to 2, 6 by 8. So, first draw a horizontal line and then perpendicular line to this and mark 2, 6 by 8. 2, 6 by 8 as in height of a waistband. One, two, and three. Two, three is equal to waist one fourth of waist plus half an inch. Waist measurement is twenty eight seven seven and a half. And draw a perpendicular line and mark three and four and square out. Now mark 1 to 5 as, as half an inch square up. And 4 to 6, 4 to 6 as half an inch and 6 to 7 as half an inch. Now we are marking in two direction, one is towards up and one is towards side. So this is 6 and 7 and join the curve, join the waist curve from 5 and 7 and this is the CF and here we are going to decide the side seam. Before that, this waistband is going to attach along with the front by closing the dot. So, the umpire line is this, this measurement has to fit along with this measurement after closing the dot. So, we can verify the measurement from center front is 16 is 3 1 by 8 and then measure 15 to 24 it is 8 and a quarter. So, totally this measurement should be equal to this measurement as 8 and a quarter. Check the measurement along with the curve should be 8 and quarter. So, you measure and extend the measurement and then join the side seam from 3 to the point which we find. It will almost nearer to the 7. So, this is the side seam. So, after closing the dot and after attaching the waistband and the front side seam, this must match along with the back side seam. And always we have to mark the grain line the back grain line is parallel to the center back, the front grain line will be parallel to the center front, but waistband should be perpendicular to the center front because when we are keeping the warp on the 
cross grain, it will give a enough support. So, when Stop. after finishing the front cacioli block, we should through the dots. The dot leg should be creased. All the dot legs should be creased, crease on the center front, the leg which is coming through the center front and then the center dot as the same one leg of the side and the center to be creased. and fold the dart by matching the center la leg towards the center to be matched on the leg towards the side. Then draw a continuous curve, draw a continuous curve at the bottom by using the French curve. Through the bottom curve, then cut on the curve line. Now we can see the extension is happened to bring the cup to a regular position. The same thing have to be done for the armhole and neckline also. Cut the shoulder on the exact line and the neckline. on the exact neck, then it is easy to through the armhole and the center front. Tap this dot by folding it, then redraw the armhole to match for the body armhole curve. Then make a cut on the armhole line. and the side seam line. Now we need to true the center front dot also. Now we can see the extension of the armhole.
we fold the dot at the straight line we have to draw the straight line by matching the end of the points then we can see that this much of extension has been happened and we drawn a new straight line to get the center front as straight so we correct the seam line of center front umpire line and the arm hole now the front pattern is true we have to do the notches for the dot leg and for the cross front and you should draw the grain line parallel to the center front now the front block is over finish by truing the center front dot and the ampere line dot and the side seam dot and also we marked notches for the dot legs of center front and baseline dot and the armhole dot and for the across front also and the grain line should be marked the front block of the kacholi is ready the waistband pattern should also be cut with the actual line for the ready pattern then mark the grain line center front and side seam this is the bottom line and this is going to attach along with the front bottom call waist band now we are going to cut the kacholi kacholi has the back front and the waistband if you want to have the sleeve you can add the sleeve also to get the body fit we must trace the back body and front body and the waistband together this pattern includes the seam allowance whereas this pattern doesn't have the seam allowance we should include the seam allowance while we are cutting now start tracing
for the cutcholi we have to close the dot of the center front and waistline and the armhole dot. The back should also be closed with the waistline dot. Then attach the back shoulder and the front shoulder together. Take the waistband and pin the waistband along the umpire line. So the side seam and side should must match and the waistband is going to be a strip piece by 2-3 layer and this will be attached along with the front and the bust room will form like this. And if you want you can attach the sleeve along with the armhole or else we can test the fit with the back and front only. This is the test fit of the Kacholi. Kacholi has a cut on the umpire line which has the waistband and the front and the back. We should pin on the center back as well as the center front by matching on the shoulder line. The shoulder line should get match and the side seam should get match and the waistline should be parallel to the waistline and the bust point will get match along with the bust point after the foundation. So we, we can check along with the foundation garment and the neckline will be a close neck and it has half an inch down at the center front and very close to the neckline. An armhole as the ease can be half an inch down from the armhole plate and it has the ease for the comfort. This is the test fit done from center front to center back. When it's been verified properly, the asymmetry can be followed on the other side also. And when the waistline is not matching, you must true the waistline by redrawing a line at the waist. And the shoulder should exact match on the shoulder point. Across back should match exactly with the across back. And it should have one eighth of ease from here. And the back can be the exact across back will provide a proper fit. This fit can also be done with a collar and it, it provides a very close fit for the garment.